Hi everyone, I'm Jacob, I'm a software engineer, and welcome back to the Blazity channel. Slow components can drag down your entire application, but finding them doesn't have to be a guesswork. In this video, I show you how to use Profiler in React DevTools to quickly spot and fix costly re-renders. Let's get started. In this short, we'll use React DevTools uh, Profiler in Next.js application to identify a slow component on a finance dashboard. The UI is simple, uh, KPIs at the top and large holdings uh, table below. Table includes information like uh, price, value or a sector. And we also have an option to sort, for example, by symbol or a value. And when I click uh, sort symbol button, you may notice that it actually takes some time before uh, holdings table re-render in a correct order. If you haven't yet installed React Developer Tools, uh, you can easily do it by adding it as an extension to your browser. In my case, I can do it with Chrome Web Store. If it's already installed, we are able to see the new tab in our DevTools, uh, which is the Profiler. Um, in this tab, we are able to perform some actions uh, in our application and record it. So we can do it by clicking this blue button uh, to start profiling. And for example, we can try to sort by symbol. Okay, let's stop it. And we can see some very helpful information. For example, how many times our application needs to be re-rendered uh, during this action that we have re record. Also, we can check the timeline to see how long it takes for every single uh, React render. And also what is very important, which component exactly um, trigger this update. Okay, so let's focus uh, on our case. Uh, so as you can see, holdings table um, renders for about uh, 40 milliseconds. And also, as you can notice, every single row uh, component also needs to be re-rendered. But actually, when we change the order in our table, we didn't change anything in the row component. So for example, we can use the memoization in this case. We can wrap row component with the memo function like this. And we can try to perform the same action again. So we can start profiling, sort by symbol and stop recording. And as you can see right now, our whole uh, render takes only 37 uh, milliseconds and only holding stable uh, component needs to be re-rendered. That's how we can use React DevTools Profiler to identify slow components in our app. For more proven techniques, grab our expert guide to Next.js performance optimization. The link is in the comment below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.